Yeah. I'm gonna tell you a secret about everyone else's job. Okay. No one knows what they're doing. Man, first of all, I love that show. Second of all, I love that moment. Um, because right now, for me, that's what it feels like. And I have no idea what I'm doing. And um, I'm really trying hard. Trying to be a good husband. Try to be a good father. Um, to both Rory and Justice and their different needs. Trying not to compare them to each other. Which is really hard. Rory was such an easy baby. Um, she had her moments. And Justice is not. He's totally different. So comparison steals the joy that I, I have from fathering Justice. Um, and I don't want to do that. But I don't exactly know how not to compare them. Um, so I'm, I'm still working on that. It feels like with Justice, I really don't know what works for him yet. I don't know what comforts him. I don't even know what ails him. What, you know, when he's upset, what he's upset about. And it just feels like taking shots in the dark and eventually he just happens to calm down. Or eventually we, we figure out that it's because he's hungry or he needs a diaper change or whatever it happens to be. Uh, the last week, maybe week and a half, I've been really struggling with. Man, am I the only one who feels like I don't know what I'm doing um, with with this baby, with my career and my relationship with Kelsey and the things that are going on, family relationships? It's really been at the forefront of my heart this week. Um, and then I was I was listening to another podcast. Um, and the, the guys talking on it said that, yeah, when they were in their late, mid to late twenties and early thirties, um, that was their question as well, or, or that was what they were struggling with. This idea of, man, I got to get something going. I, um, I got to make a little money. I got to have success here and here. And I think for young guys especially um, that's where we live that's where I've lived most of my life um, you know, I gotta be successful or I'll try this thing to get what I want and or try to manipulate the situation and um, well with, the, with a baby there's no manipulating you it is what it is um, you know, there's there's no persuading, there's there's no bribing, there's no talking about it. There's just figuring it out. There's just being present enough to hear them, present enough to care for them. And I think at some level, at some point, I need to be okay with that being enough. I don't have to be super dead. I don't have to be perfect as much as I want to be, as much as I think I have to be. Having a little grace for myself, I think is going to take me a long way. Uh, but then again, how do I do that? It feels so different from how I've lived for so long. The, the, the idea of, you no know, life continues on if I don't have a plan for tomorrow. And um, things will get taken care of if um, I'm not in charge of taking care of them. And... Um, you know, one day we'll have a home and that's okay that we don't have it now. And, and one day justice will be out of this stage. Um, because I think when, when, when I'm so focused on the next thing or success or striving, then people's hearts don't become important to me. What I can get becomes important to me. Um, and I don't want to live that way. I don't want to miss Justice or Aurora or Kelsey because I'm so worried about trying to achieve things or I'm so worried about trying to take care of things that I'm missing their hearts, that I'm missing who they are, 
what they need, the joy that they bring, how they need me to come through for them. I don't want to miss them. Everyone keeps saying, I can't get this time back. I'll miss when they're young. There's got to be some truth to that, right? So what does it look like for me? And this has been my question. What does it look like for me not to be so worried about success? To be not so worried about coming through. But instead to be more focused on being and trusting that God's going to take care of everything. That, And then I can be present. I don't need to hide on my phone. Um, I don't need to escape in any sort of way that I can be with my family and I can be all that they need just by taking it slow. Just by resting. And when it comes to success and provision and the future life, those things will come. But you can't force them. I can't force them. So I'm learning. I need to wait. I need to listen well. I need to be present. And I just need to be there. And that's enough. It's enough. I'm enough. Those are my thoughts this week. I'll catch you next time.